All right, ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I have our two controller champions, Mazmitu and KTT. We're going to be putting them up against three of every rank until they lose. So make sure you guys follow them with their socials linked down below in the description. Also, make sure you guys subscribe with post notifications on as we post videos like this one every single day. But with that being said, let's hop straight into round number one. All right, we're going to see our two controller champs here starting on attack on coastline and Mazza is going to be repelling outside of luggage right now he's going to head up to the roof after droning out saturn on legion who is just playing inside of aqua here so they're gonna have to try to figure out a way to clear him out but ktt on the window almost grabbing two kills he's gonna pick up one against the thorn and putting saturn on about one hp so he also even lit up Rook, who's on about 75 HP now. So KTT putting in the work right there on the hookah window. Maz is going to rappel down from the roof onto the big window now, trying to get an angle into the bomb site. He's already got a drone in here to possibly try to go for a wall bank through the window. He's going to see Mr. Saturn inside of Aqua. And here comes the Z-Ping. Easy kill for Maz and Mitsu. And he's going to grab the second one as well onto the Rook, who was inside of VIP. Great first round from our two controller champions. All right, here we go. We see Mazumitsu right now on Amara. Looks like he's gonna be trying to rush through the security window and KTT is gonna be on cams to be giving him any sort of information he needs for this rush. And KTT on cams going to start Z pinging out Ella's position who's playing inside a bathroom right now. And Mazumitsu rotating from lobby now gonna to opt to push for the kitchen door instead, but the coppers have barricaded everything. So he's not gonna be able to make a sneaky entrance but fortunately for him, he does have these hard breach gadgets that he's going to use to open up this kitchen wall. And we're actually going to see him potentially repel on this to maybe even go upstairs or try to get an invert angle into the kitchen. That is an interesting play there. KTT going to be on the drone hole right now. And he picks up the first kill of the second round onto phase. The Ella goes down. But this jammer from Saturn is going to stop them from droning in before... Mazza burns his gone six to clear it out. So drones in sight now. Both of our champs trying to drone and get some intel on where the last two remaining copper players are. But unfortunately, their drones get jammed. So Maz is going to have to pull out his second one from main lobby. But another jammer on the store is going to halt him there. Stinger hiding inside of kitchen right now. Going to a zombie off the kitchen door. So they really only have to worry about bathroom and service at the moment. As Mazumitsu is going to be rotating in towards lobby to retrieve the diffuser att opening up the bathroom wall to try to get a better angle into service right now and he'll grab that first kill onto saturn that's the mute going down and it's all up to sting on the azami mazumitsu is trying to hold this angle that he made from the hole earlier but ktt is going to be the one that grabs the kill and that's the second round for our controller champs here <clears throat> All right, here we go with another Amara rush coming out from Mazumitsu. KTT once again going to be on these drones, trying to give him the information he needs for this rush. And all of our copper players are going to be anchoring on site. We actually have two players inside a bathroom right now. So Mazumitsu could grab some easy kills here, and he will. The first kill onto Saturn. Cade goes down. Now FaZe on the mute is stuck inside of the stall. He's got to be careful, though, because he is playing on the drone hole right now. And it's possible that KTT could rotate and try to take him out. But instead, actually, it looks like he's going to be trying to push in through this kitchen window. Now, Mazza is just going to be holding down bathroom as he knows that Mute is in here. But as soon as he goes for the reload, that's siege timing for you. Mute will cross and he's going to make it back into service now. But Mazza is going to fully open up the bathroom door and make his way in. And he'll grab the first kill. And KTT's got his back. He'll grab the third. And the coppers go down. These two controller players so far cannot be stopped. ATT drawn a nice little heart for us as both of our champ players right now are going for a spawn peek. And it looks like Mazumitsu is going to be the one who gets the first kill as Sledge goes down. The two champs now on match point. They're looking to lock things out. And this poor Ash who's just on cams outside of service door might get taken out here any second. Maz is actually going to C4 the VIP wall to try to run out on the VIP balcony. And... Maz actually hacked a Brava drone. That's actually a lot of utility here for the defenders. And he's going to use that to gain some intel on where exactly Brava is. But wow, KTT all the way outside has downed Mr. Saturn on the Ash. And well, he's not even trying to get the kill. There it is. Finally getting it. He's going for the last kill onto Brava, who's outside of Kitchen Window as far back as he can go. 
Looks like he might be lagging a little bit as KTT is going to swing out behind this wall here. Mazamitsu rotating over to Mudroom to try to flank him. And who's going to get it? It looks like it's going to be Mazza who runs out from Mudroom. And our two champs are going to win against the three coppers. Four up. All right, we are going to be starting map number two against the Silvers here. Or I guess map one. But map two of the video here against Silvers on canal Mazumitsu already rushing up into the site he gave a call out so he's gonna hear exactly where rook is but he thought that he killed rook but he didn't i guess that extra armor really helping out there leaving rook on about one hp is ktt is now going to be trying to push in through the sky bridge right now he grabs the first kill onto azami but kate is there with the c4 so he's gonna have to be careful about that as the C4 will actually get shot out, and KTT will grab the headshot onto Kate as well. So it's all up to the Rook on 1 HP, who's flanking the tower stairs right now. I'm not sure that KTT knows this, and he is on cams, so he may not hear Rook flanking. And this, this could be really bad. Ladies and gentlemen, Rook with the flank is going to take down our two controller champs. And that's actually the first round they've lost of this video. All right, here we go. Round number two here. Our two controller champs definitely wanting to bring things back and win this round here. Mazumitsu going to be trying to rush Trench right now. The bomb site is downstairs. And Legion is going to be Harry Potter right now. Trying to defend against Mazumitsu. But Mazumitsu will be the one who wins the gunfight. That'll be the Legion going down. Rook is here trying to refrag. He was the one who got the two kills last round. To carry the silvers in their first round against the two controller champs. But... I don't know if he's going to be able to do that this round as KTT is going to be pushing from lockers. Trying to pinch here with Mazumitsu potentially. Unforgettable going to be playing on the top of these white stairs right now. Trying to watch into lockers but doesn't... I don't think he realizes no one's in the actual site just yet. Mazumitsu now rushing upstairs trying to take vertical control and KTT is going to hop into the site and take out Rook. So the last player remaining is upstairs and Mazumitsu will be the one who takes him out the two controller champs winning the second round against the silver players. All right, Mazumitsu now droning above. He is on Amaro, so it looks like he might be trying to go for some form of an Amaro rush. He's going to spot out the bomb as well. Now they're going to know that the bomb is upstairs. KTT pushing from white stairs, and it looks like Rook is just completely lost, or AFK. And he'll, he will be taken out now. Unforgettable on the other side of the map on Vigil, as Mazumitsu is actually planting in sight right now. Capkin sitting inside of Coast Guard, but unfortunately for him, Mazumitsu is planted inside of Lounge, but unfortunately for Mazumitsu, he will fall to Capkin, and now it's all left to KTT in the 1v1 as he picks up that kill onto Unforgettable just a second ago, and KTT is looking to defend against this Diffuser. He's going to open up that single wall so that Capkin cannot actually plant. The C4 goes out, but it's going to miss as KTT is rotated now over towards Coast Guard. Now, Capkin going to start hitting the Diffuser. He's going to get off the last second, though, but it won't matter. He'll take out KTT, and the Silvers are going to pick up their second round here. All right, here we go. We are on round number four now, and our two controller champs are going to, are going to be rotating onto defense now. So we'll see if maybe defense is going to be the thing they need to start winning some more rounds here as they are down one to two. The first time one of the lower ranks has actually been leading so far in this video so hopefully our two controller champs can pull that back it looks like we're going to see thermite try to open up this outside wall right now possibly seeing ash afk we don't know where ash went it suddenly turned into a 2v2 i don't know why this happens listen if you guys want to play in the videos make sure you guys have time to play don't go afk all right thermite now going to be trying to push through these 90 windows i think he's already opened up the breach he has and ktt is going to rotate and play tucked on the breach and surely Thermite is not ready for it. He's not, and he will get taken out now. And it looks like Unforgettable, our last, possibly last silver player, as we still have Ash AFK for some reason. We're going to see if Unforgettable could clutch this out against our two controller champs. Somehow, I feel like they're not going to. All right, so we would maybe restart this so that Ash is not AFK. But to be honest with you guys, Ash has, I think, been AFK for two rounds now, if not longer and the silvers are winning so we're going to keep going with this we're just going to see how well unforgettable is going to do maybe he's able to clutch this out we'll see he does already have two or actually you know he does not have two kills ash was one of the players to actually get two kills and help the silvers win so 
Could be bad if he does not return here very soon. All right, KTT going to take a little bit of damage. His Unforgettable is sitting behind the Osa Shield, trying to push in through the Reach here. He's going to grab one kill. He could potentially actually win this. Mazumitsu is going to go prone to try to avoid getting wall banged. His Unforgettable goes for the plant, gets off the last second, and that'll stop Mazumitsu from being able to get that kill. And our two controller champs will win another round, tying things up to 2-2. Two to two. By the way, make sure if you guys haven't already, like the video. Comment down below any other video suggestions that you guys have. If you guys want to see me do any specific videos feel free to let me know down there also if you guys would like to play in one of these videos consider joining my discord server the link will be down below in the description it's totally free for you to join all right fortunately for our silver players and unfortunately for our two controller champs we do see ash coming back no longer afk so we have all three of our silver players back we'll see if it makes a difference here in round number five as the score is all tied up now mazumitsu all the way upstairs, he does actually see Ash, and Ash is going to grab that kill back from being AFK and picking up another kill. That's going to be three for him now total, leading the Silvers in terms of frag. So, great, great start here from the Silver players. That's going to leave KTT all by himself against three players. Unforgettable is going to be trying to push up above, while it looks like Sledge is trying to push from the uh, east side over right now is ash possibly afk again coming back now trying to push towards wherever ktt is playing our controller champs did go to the bottom floor bomb site so ktt is going to be trying to defend against them pushing up through the sky bridge is that is the only way for them to get over here hey our silver player is very confused running around in circles on the east side of the map for like 30 seconds now they have no idea where the bomb site is but i think they're finally starting to get it it is actually on the bottom floor and unforgettable going to be sprinting around ash right behind him and ktt is prepared for this he takes out both of them he's also got the diffuser down so it's all left to sledge who has sight but doesn't have the diffuser ktt doesn't know this and he's going to walk down the stairs while reloading and sledge will take it and the silvers are on match point now remember what i said at the start of the video ladies and gentlemen if our two controller champs lose this next round it is GG, video is over. So we definitely need to see them come back, bring this to OT, and finally start winning some more rounds. All right, Fuse running out of spawn right now, directly in view of this window that KTT has prepped open. Both of our controller champs on the same window, trying to, trying to get as much information as they can on exactly where the three silvers are at. Now, those look like unforgettable is afk so one of these silvers seems to be afk at all times finally he's coming back not sure what is going on there but we've got like a split push going on right now as sledge just hops straight in through reception pushing in through archives now trying to take over coast guard possibly play vertical on the site as i believe both of our actually no mazumitu is above right now and he almost gets taken out by sledge who's just inside of coast guard and well, Fuse will finally take Mazumitsu out. And ladies and gentlemen, this is not looking good for our two controller champs. KTT, the last remaining player against our three PC silver players. Fuse is fusing out the site. And we see Sledge opening up the hatch and trying to play vertical. Unforgettable is already in the site, though. Candelas are going in and smoke grenades as well. He's got the diffuser and surely he's going to be planting in the middle of this. Maz or KTT, excuse me, upstairs flanking. He gets the kill onto Sledge, but... I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get the last two remaining players. Fuse is on about 1 HP, but Unforgettable is still on full, and the Diffuser is planted. But Unforgettable goes down as he wasn't prepared for the head holes here, and it looks like I don't think Fuse is ready for this. He's not. KTT swings, and he, he's left on about 1 HP, but he actually clutches the 1v3. Well played by KTT. L. L in the comments, guys. Let's go. It's too easy for KTT. What can he say? All right, our two controller champs barely clinging on here. KTT carrying right now as he grabs another kill right now. That's his 12th here on the game. That is Finca going down. And that's definitely a good start here for our two controller champs. Trying to firmly get back into the lead here. They definitely want to win this round so that they can take that match point position. Unforgettable. Going to be trying to Brava drone down through the site, but... KTT is going to be there to shoot the drones, but he is actually going to destroy one of Mazumitsu's uh, mines there from Fenrir. Now, IQ pushing outside of diving right now. 
on the scuba widow trying to retrieve the diffuser where his teammate had died previously unforgettable droning out the site right now and he's gonna leave his bravo drone right in the middle for ktt to shoot for some reason as he's going to repel in now possibly trying to play vertical although he doesn't have any breach charges or anything he's actually hacked this uh bulletproof camera so he might be able to get a floor bank kill there iq still droning outside of trench right now as mazumitsu is there to defend against that and ktt gonna have to defend against unforgettable as he's gonna be pushing down yellow stairs as bravo right now he's trying to use the drones to his advantage as well as his bulletproof camera that he hacked and he's gonna try pushing down the stairs now as ktt is not actively watching it and oh no ladies and gentlemen iq will walk in from trench and somehow he'll take out both ktt and mazumitsu in one second there all right, here we go. It looks like we might see our controller champs try to push together a little bit more as they're both running together towards this repel. And we do see Mazumitsu on the A, so we could see them trying to push through that main breach here as we do have our silver players on the second floor bomb site right now. Mazumitsu going to drop outside of that new bridge window, trying to claim more of this top white door so that no one is able to run out while they're trying to play on the breach. Shooting the sky bridge window open as well we do have pulse playing at the top of these stairs so it's got to be careful as pulse could try to swing that window now that it is open ktt is pushing in from downstairs bottom red right now so we'll see how this goes for him we actually don't have any of the silver players playing downstairs and doc has a shotgun right now so i don't know if either of our controller champs know about that but they're gonna have to be careful because he is just tucked in a corner with this thing. Oh no. Don't tell me Thunderbird is AFK once again as the main breach is going to get opened. And here comes Mazumitsu to swing it. The red pings go out. And yep, Thunderbird AFK again. I don't know what's going on. He just totally left now. I guess it's going to be a 2v2 as, well, <laughs> he's, just, he's just gone. KTT underneath trying to drone and possibly get a nade through the floor here as Pulse is trying to swing through these big uh these uh sky bridge windows the double window there is mazumitsu just gonna walk in and potentially try to go for a plant the nades from below from ktt are going to miss now and we see pole still holding sky bridge he's actually going to be trying to go underneath for a full flank i don't know if ktt is prepared for that or not but either way he's going to be sprinting towards the site doc still inside of server right now prone on the rotate with the shotgun now if either of our controller chance push the shotgun it's surely bad news for them but i think mazumitsu has the range here to take this gunfight or potentially go for the plant as it looks like doc is still just prone here now he can't actually be seen because he's prone behind this desk but ktt is going to be walking in he hears that he's prone and mazumitsu with the drop through the hatch will take out the pulse and fortunately our two controller champs are able to clutch this last round and i guess we're playing a 2v2 here is i don't know what's going on with these players man everybody's been afk at least once all right yana gonna take about half of his hp from this capcom trap from ktt and speaking of ktt he'll try to throw out the c4 to finish off the yana but he's actually going to miss the c4 and oh no it looks like yana is afk again Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea what's going on. Line is going to be upstairs, though, trying to look through these holes in the floor, potentially trying to get an angle onto KTT, who's inside of the site right now. Yana, still AFK, literally hit Capcom traps and then went AFK mid-round. Insane. Unforgettable now. Trying to push into this hallway, but he's going to find Mazumitu, who will find that kill onto the Brava. Not a great game for him whatsoever, and... We're really going to need to see Iana come back if the Silvers want to have any chance of winning this. And he will. 50 seconds left on 4-4. He's back to play, I guess. Lion Scan's going to go out here from Trench. As Lion's trying to do his best to push in through Trench. But this barbed wire, as well as the holes in the wall to his left, are going to slow him down. And Iana is going to get flashed by his teammate and then finished off by KTT as he's going for his 15th kill here. But Mazumitsu is going to take it and the controller champs win 5-4. GG's. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are starting map number three for the video here against our golds. And wow, Sledge is going to start it off with a bang here. Wall banging KTT. So Mazamitsu already put in a 1v3 against our three golds here. He's going to throw a C4 into Master trying to grab a kill through the floor here. He's going to blow it as soon as he goes for the flank. He's not going to grab a kill with the C4, but he will grab two kills. One on the sledge, downing the ace right now. The last player remaining is going to be Iana, just outside of Master. All he's got to do is get one more kill here. He's going to use the pulse scanner to finish off King through the floor. And now it's all up to VX, who's inside of sight right now. But Mazumitsu very fastly coming up through the white stairs here. And he'll actually be able to deny the plant with his fuse or his uh pulse scanner from below but he's not actually able to even find vx on the scanner so he'll be able to get the plant down and vx is going for this pixel angle mazumitsu running into sight now he's going to be all the way up on this kid's door and he's going to swing but vx will win the gunfight and the golds take round number one all right vx using his flourish drones to clear out some of these azamis that mazumitsu placed and Sledge just outside of Big Window right now. Going to take a little bit of damage from Mazumitsu. And Mazumitsu is actually going to rush for the kill as Let's is going to get taken out while he's trying to throw a grenade. And KTT going to grab a kill into VX. That leaves King all by himself on top white, but he grabs the first kill. He's going for the second. KTT swinging through the white stairs rotate, but he's not going to grab the shots just yet. King Diffuser in hand. He has everything he needs to try to win this round. Two Osa shields as well. KTT going to rotate over to Attic and try to hold down the kids rotate right now. Neither players know where each other are. And we're going to be at a standstill. A minute and 45 seconds left. And this is a lot of action for this soon into the round. Wallbangs come out from KTT, who's on full HP. He'll put King down to low HP. King leans the, leans the wrong way while he swings the door. And KTT is able to clutch that out for the controller champs. Tying things up one to one now. Mazumitsu trying to go for a spawn peek here towards construction. He might get one as all three of our gold players have spawned outside a bunker right now. But unfortunately for Mazda, it looks like they're all going to be trying to push in directly through bunker towards the site. And that's exactly where KTT is right now. He's going to be trying to defend against three of these golds who are pushing in all by himself right now. King going to be on about 30 HP, but he is able to open up the wall into site right now. KTT could have shot that if he wanted to. But it looks like he actually wanted it open to take these gunfights. King going to open up the other wall into E-Box as well now. As Mazumitsu is holding above the hatch. And KTT will grab a kill onto King. KTT going for another kill as well. That will be Capitao. And oh, the 3k from KTT as VX goes down. Great round from him. The controller champs now leading 2-1. to one. All right, our controller champs are going to be getting drones inside of sight. And the golds think they're safe by ratting, but here come the nades from below. Fortunately for the golds, the first will miss, but both of our controller champs do have drones in sight. So they could use this to try to get another nade kill. KTT does still have one grenade left. Mazumitsu repelled on the big window will take out King. And he's going to be trying to wall bang to get another who's inside of kids right now. Both of our golds on site. KTT trying to drone to figure out exactly where they are. He still has that last grenade if he chooses to use it. We're going to see Doc push up into game room right now. Top white is actually barricaded, so KTT is going to have to shoot that down if he wants to push through there. But first, he's going to try to nade from below, and he's going to... He's actually going to down Doc, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to secure that kill just yet. Mazumitsu trying to drone and... Get some more information for his team as we see him repelled on Kid's window. He could try to go for the wall bang right now. He's going to do a lot of damage onto VX who's sitting inside of Kid's. Now he's going to be forced to play in the back of Kid's now. KTT going to get a kill onto Doc. So now it's a 2v1 VX, the last remaining gold player. But he'll get taken out as KTT hops in through trophy door. And that's going to be a 3-1 lead now for the controller champs against the golds. And very interesting as we saw a 4-4 barn burner against the silver players. But now the controller champs against the golds, who should be better, they're leading 3-1. to one. So maybe it was a map thing. Could have been a side thing as we did have the controller champs start on defense this, side, this time. 
So those little things we got to keep in mind. All right, Mazumitsu able to open up that mirror window inside of Ebox. So that's going to be causing VX a little bit of trouble as he's going to be trying to hold this mirror window right now. And wow, he's actually going to grab that first kill onto KTT. So the top frag for the two controller champs is going to go down. That leaves Mazumitsu left against our three gold players. VX here going to be shooting him, trying to do a little bit of damage, but Mazumitsu will find the headshot. So VX goes down. Now it's all up to King and Let's on the two Spetnaz operators here, Capkin and Tachanka. And the duo clutch it up. They do have these uh, Tachanka fires to try to slow Mazumitsu down as well as the Capkin traps. So those two things alone could possibly take out Mazda depending on how he plays it here. But he's actually going to be droning inside of sight and there's no reinforcements on this wall for some reason. So Mazda will use that to his advantage and take out Capkin. Now it's all up to King, who I think believes the mirror window is closed, but it's actually opened. And now Maz is going to be using that to his advantage as well, trying to swing through the open mirror window. But the fire from the Chanka will slow him down. Both players doing a bit of damage to each now, but Mazza definitely not as well off in terms of HP. He's going to throw a drone and try to slow things down and gain some more information, possibly set up a drone for KTT to watch. He's going to do exactly that now as... He tries to go up to this melee hole to get yet another kill, but King not going to expose himself to that just yet. He's going to be trying just to hold down Pillar as he knows that Mazumitsu has to push through Pillar door at this point. And Maz is going to try to do just that, but King will be there to take him out. And the golds are going to be trying to tie things up now as the score is three to two. All right, Mazumitsu is going to be using his Maverick Torch here to open up these tower windows and take control of this but he's gonna have to be careful as vx is currently downstairs directly beneath him as he's going to be setting up some drones for attic right now trying to see who is playing inside of here it's going to be warden he's going to be trying to push up on the sound of these math holes but here comes vx on the flank and that'll be mazumitsu going down and now he also has the diffuser and king with the flank as well on main stairs Ladies and gentlemen, things are all tied up now as the Golds somehow get two quick kills onto our two controller champs, tying things up three to three. All right, here we go. Mazumitsu using Amaru to rush in through Whitehall here. We do see Let's on the top of bottom main stairs right now. Potentially trying to stop Mazumitsu from pushing in from main stairs. But King, I don't think he realizes it, but Mazumitsu is only a couple feet away from him and the siege timing will be unfortunate for Mazumitsu. He won't be able to see that Solus is right here, but I don't think that King knows it. He's trying to hold an angle, but he switches to the Solus gadget last second, and he will be taken out because of that. Mazumitsu trying to get his frags up right now, getting a second kill onto the Mazi. He's going for the third right now onto VX on the back of Pillar. Two minutes left, and two of our gold players are already dead. VX rotating into sight. He'll actually down and finish off Mazumitsu. So the last remaining player for our controller champs is KTT as he's going to be pushing down through Freezer the same way Mazumitsu did. Trying to get that refrag now. VX C4 in hand. He does not have the HP advantage. KTT does have a nade he could use here and he's definitely got all the time in the world. Minute and 30. He's going to try to use that time to drone and figure out exactly where VX is. Grenade comes out here. He's going to be trying to use this to open up a rotate into a bomb site. Very, very smart. Going to be pre-firing into site, but no one is there. VX still trying to hold down tarp slash pillar right now as KTT pushes back up on this door. A minute and 10 seconds, so he's going to continue to use this just a drone and figure out where VX is, who's not wanting to move away from this pillar side. KTT realizing that most of the site seems to be pretty clear. Finally, figuring out where VX is, he's going to use that information to push on into Laundry now. And he's going to try to plant directly on the rotate. VX is too far to stop this, so KTT surely going to get this plant off. And he does as he tries to rotate over towards main stairs to defend against the diffuse from VX. But here comes VX inside of Freezer trying to use this rotate into Laundry that... KTT so kindly made for him now and I'm not sure if KTT knows that he's pushing up from there but doesn't matter is KTT's all the way back on the bottom of main stairs and the long arm 
potentially going to be trying to come out here from VX. It's a bait, but KTT will win the gunfight. And that's going to be round number seven to our controller champs. Finally winning four to three here. Hopefully they're able to lock it out with this next round. All right, Mazda meets you all walking downstairs. We'll find the first kill of round number eight here against King. And that'll also be the diffuser dropped down by bottom white stairs. So KTT is going to rotate down, potentially going to try to hold Mazda meets or hold the diffuser with Mazda meets you here. And he's going to instead choose to rotate back up the white stairs as we're going to see Amaro just outside of big window right now. The C4 is going to come out from KTT and that will actually down Amaro. The last remaining player is VX. He is Finca, so he could just Finca charge and instantly res Amaro. He'll do exactly that. So Amaro now on about 20 HP. Definitely not ideal, but it is nice that he's able to get revived so quickly. Finca and Amaro now trying to push outside of big window. You can see that both of our controller champs have rotated now downstairs as they have the diffuser on white hall they don't even need to hold the site so they're gonna let amaro and finca waste their time droning out and trying to clear the actual bomb site when in reality both of our controller champs are downstairs now holding the diffuser and with only a minute left the two pc golds are going to have to speed things up here captain traps going to get shot out by vx but only one flashbang left and no drones. I'm not sure if he knows that KTT is close on this door. Both of our gold players here now as well. And one will fall as KTT grabs that kill onto the Amaru. But VX will somehow survive. Mazumitsu, the last remaining champ player, will do a lot of damage onto VX. Putting him onto about 1 HP now. Mazda somehow not taking the Finca out. But on about 55 HP now. He's got to be careful about how he chooses to play this here. He is Sola, or uh, Sola, so he could try to stop the diffuse or the plant from below right now with his scanner. No impacts, but he is going to be able to see the plant here in a second. He just needed to look up a little bit higher. VX choosing to rotate off now. Smart move, as Mazumitsu probably would have been able to take him out there. Mazumitsu has the information. He's going to do a drop shot peek on the kid's door. And Mazumitsu will take out VX and win the 1v1. And that will be the two controller champs beating out our three golds. And we're moving on to three plats. <clears throat> All right, here we are on Cafe against our PC plats. Let's see if our controller champs are going to make it past here. They did very well against the golds. Struggled a little bit against the silvers. So not really actually sure how this game is going to go. Very excited to see what happens here. Taking a look at our plat players, we do have Pulse all the way below. He's going to be a big problem for our two controller champs here. As even when they take sight, he's going to be able to C4 the planter from below. Now, Jay is also on the Mira. That's also going to be a big problem here for our champs. But Eclipse is going to be the one to grab the first kill onto KTT as he tries to run in through Hell Door, but he'll be shut down from Eclipse on that Fenrir. So. Mazumitsu going to be the last controller champ remaining here. And we'll see if he's able to possibly clutch this out. It is a 1v3. Pulse pushing up, trying to figure out where he is. He did see him for a second, but it looks like he missed it. There we go. Mazumitsu going to be pushing in off the sound of that pulse scanner. He'll grab the first kill on to 0, zero. The pulse goes down. Eclipse still on Shaika right now, trying to possibly swing on to Mazumitsu, who's Playing below in this red hallway. And actually, Eclipse is pretty much directly above Mazumitsu, who's droning up through the top of white stairs right now. Jay is going to be on the heaven balcony, trying to look through these holes. But Mazumitsu is nowhere over there. He's already top red, pushing up, up towards new bout. But Eclipse is there to take him out. The Fenrir gadget will stop Mazumitsu from being able to see. And the plat players win Round number one. All right, here we go. Our two controller champs going to be pushing outside of front door on the first floor here. Mazumitsu going to be droning KTT in. Now, we are going to see Jay hiding inside of Kocek right now. He's going to be trying to stop KTT from pushing in. And, well, KTT will drone him out. But there's going to be a Banshee on this door. So, he's going to have to be careful about trying to walk through that. Bravo drone will get shot out. And KTT will die to Jay. 
who's holding inside of coat right now mazamitsu the last remaining controller champ here against our three pc plats he's gonna do a little bit of damage onto eclipse bringing him down actually to about half hp jay's gonna swing out and he'll actually grab the kill onto mazamitsu so wow he's gonna pick up two kills on our second round and the plats are now up 2-0 all right eclipse is actually on drones just outside of this window and ktt sees that he goes for the wall bang he'll do a little bit of damage to eclipse bringing him down to about half hp but eclipse will somehow get away with his life there very lucky to do so mazumitsu going to be pushing up through these brown stairs and we just saw someone drop that's going to be eclipse he's finally going to get taken out now as mazumitsu comes up from the bottom of those brown stairs now rotates in the site to laundry right now maz has got to worry about that but it looks like site actually might be clear as both of our plat players are holding above right now they're gonna have to be worried about these maestro cams from jay but they both have grenades to nade those out minute and 50 seconds left ktt on the bottom of white stairs is going to be trying to rotate up as maz and is going to grab a kill onto the legion and he's going to jump down now back into pillar potentially trying to push into reading as ktt is going to be coming up from the bottom of these white stairs it looks like they're going to have a pinch onto reading room right now jay the last remaining player on maestro above the site trying to use his maestro cams to his advantage but that's certainly not going to be enough to stop our two controller champs from planning here with a minute and 20 seconds left mazumitsu is going to take the bomb site now trying to grenade out through the floor Trying to also take out this Maestro Cam as well. That's going to allow KTT to come in and plant. But he's actually going to choose to plant in Dining instead. So even better. Jay now prone on cams. Not able to contest this plant at all. KTT will get that down as he tries to position a drone. To figure out exactly where Jay is. And Mazumitsu going to be rotating upstairs. Trying to take the gunfight. Both players onto about half HP. 28 seconds left on the diffuser. The flick comes out from Jay. Mazumitsu's on 1 HP. He hits the deck as Jay's going to be trying to push up. KTT just holding down the bomb. But Jay does not expect Mazumitsu to be close. And Mazu will take him out. And that's going to be the first round for our two controller champs. All right, great setup on the site here coming out from our two controller champs. As we see them rocking the mirror here as well as the dock coming out from KTT. I really like this setup specifically because KTT is able to bring out the Bailiff and he's able to open up a lot of the site to help out with the line of sights from the mirror windows. He's also got the stems, the barbed wire, and the 1.5 to help with these long angles on Cafe through these mirror windows that Mazumitsu has so kindly placed for him. Speaking of Maza, he's going to rotate off the site now and leave KTT to hold that for his own. We're going to see our plat players all on the roof for the most part is... The only plat player not on the roof is going to be Jay. And it looks like he's wanting to Amaro straight in through piano window at the moment. He's going to try to drone it out to the best of his ability. But I think the window is fully closed. So unless he opens it, he won't be able to drone that out. He's going to shoot it out a little bit to get this drone in. And looks like we're going to have Mira, who is Mazumitsu, inside of Cigar Shop. He'll take out Eclipse. Honestly, I'm not even sure how Eclipse died. Potentially, he dropped the skylight. Osa is going to be repelled here on this hell or yeah heaven window. Mazumitsu going to be getting shot from that window. He's got to be careful. He's getting pinched. There's also one on his piano window as well. KTT needs to try to help him if he can or at least stim him back up. Mazumitsu going to rotate off now after destroying those drones. So a lot of utility shot out for the attackers. Osa is still repelled here on this heaven window as Jay is going to rotate over to the windows as well. Possibly trying to push in through the cocktail windows. And wow, this is interesting. We actually see Osa has completely um, just repelled in to the site right now. Jay's going to Amaru in, but Mazumitsu is there to take him out. No C4 on Maza, so he won't be able to destroy this shield so easily. And honestly, Osa's in a pretty decent spot here. If he could try to reverse plant, definitely the controller champs would be in a bad spot here. Mazumitsu is going to get taken out. Oh, zero zero tries to swing up above the bar to take out ktt but he's going to rotate over to the bathroom rotate now another osa shield will get placed as it looks like zero zero might know approximately where kt ktt is at but he's going to be trying to bait this plant as ktt rotates in 
And this is getting hairy as Zero Zero's got this shield to hide behind, but KTT is playing this very well, and there's no time for him to stick the plant anymore, so he has to get the kill, but KTT will win the gunfight, and that was beautifully played there by KTT to win out this fourth round, and now things are going to be tied up two to two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, round number five. Mazumitsu doing a very interesting Echo Drone spot, trying to get a spawn peek here, but KTT is going to grab the first kill of the round onto Eclipse. Now that's going to leave J and 0, Zero alone, but Mazumitsu will jump out. He's going to secure at least one kill here as he's going to go for the third onto J. Let's see if he's able to do it. KTT is in sight safe, but the same cannot be said for Mazumitsu. He's stuck no matter which direction he goes in right now. Detected outdoors, he'll finally get taken out by Jay. Wow, what an interesting gunfight. Now, fortunately for Jay, he does still have full HP. He is going to be against KTT, though, who does have the three Doc Stems to get himself back up. So if he does take any damage, he will have that to fall back on. Jay's going to open up the freezer wall here, trying to drone out sight. And KTT is going to take that drone out now. A minute and 40 seconds left on the clock. Jay's going to retrieve that diffuser as KTT is going to be rotating over towards Sinks to try to hold Jay from pushing in through this freezer wall right now. A minute and 30. Jay's got plenty of time to work with here, but he's got no more drones. And I think he, he has only one more ash charge. Two breach charges, though, so he could go play above and try to play vertical on KTT if he really wanted to. KTT just sitting on the freezer wall here. will do a lot of damage onto Jay, bringing him down to about half HP. KTT going to swing the window now, and Jay goes down. And round number five goes to the controller champs, who are now leading on match point. Three to two. All right, Eclipse is struggling to fit through this hole that he's shotgunning into the garage wall. And he's going to have to be careful as KTT is sitting just on these white stairs, just out of view of this rotate that he just made. Zero Zero is going to be there with him as well on the lion. Trying to drone out to see if all of this is clear, but I don't think they've checked the white stairs just yet. Eclipse is going to rotate up towards the roof, so that's going to leave Zero Zero on the lion all by himself downstairs by garage. ATT going to rotate off those white stairs now, allowing lion to possibly push in if he'd like to. He's going to instead try to hold down reading. His Mazumitsu is... Looks to be in possibly mining or in train right now. Yeah, he's going to be inside of train holding down this mirror window that looks onto red stairs. I really love the site setups coming out from our controller champs here. Lion scan's going to come out from 0, zero and that will actually spot out. Uh, I think it was KTT, but he runs into those jammers for safety now. Clips is going to spot out uh, Jay on the cam. Watch him get completely destroyed by Mazumitsu as KTT grabs another kill with the C4 that was pre-placed on Nubauk. Eclipse, the last remaining plat player here as he's going to be trying to drop through this hatch. It is match point, so our controller champs are very eager to finish this game off and move on to the Emeralds. But Eclipse, though, going to be doing his best to try to stop that from happening as he's going to jackal scan KTT. Mazumitsu is going to rotate down from the third floor and try to help him out as KTT is going to watch the 90 call and Mazumitsu will watch the reading door. Both ways for Eclipse to leave are blocked off and he doesn't have the diffuser so he cannot plant. Looks like Mazumitsu is going to be the one who gets the gunfight here as Eclipse is pushing up to the brown stairs and Mazumitsu will do a little bit of damage onto the jackal but... He will rotate back down into reading as he's potentially going to be trying to push through this 90 hall where KTT is currently holding. And that's exactly what he'll be doing now as KTT actually rotates off the angle. Eclipse is able to push up into the hallway, but there's actually going to be a rotate in this single wall from fireplace into train museum. So Eclipse not prepared for that whatsoever. KTT will watch that out and take out eclipse and our two controller champs are going to beat the three pc plats four to two and now we move on to emeralds all right ladies and gentlemen here we are with our three emerald players and our two controller champs we're gonna see if our two controller champs can make it even further and push on to the diamond players but first azimuth is going to be trying to walk up these solar stairs as knock right now and that beeper is going to immediately 
detect exactly where he is and that Fenrir gadget going to block his vision as well but does not matter as he'll grab the first kill onto Alibi and another swings that's Fenrir going down Mazumitsu already got two big kills and KTT droning out the third trying to assist Mazumitsu in finishing out this round now grenade in hand that's going to be thrown into master but will miss as the last remaining player carp will push up the bathroom door and get taken out by ktt so our controller champs wasting no time to sit here and win that round all right mazumitsu going to be amar rushing in through master and gone sixing open the kitchen hatch dropping and being able to push down these west main stairs very quick this barbed wire though going to slow him down a little bit ktt going to be droning out the lobby side ensuring that he is clear to push up and mazumitsu right now actually going to be holding legion who's all the way back inside a big garage now it looks like mazumitsu is aware that he is back there but i'm not sure that legion is aware that mazumitsu is now in sight and surely carp's not ready for this he's not as mazumitsu will get that first kill and wow a pre-fire flick onto the player inside of blue mazumitsu gonna take out all three of our emerald players and ladies and gentlemen these two controller champs are way too good all right, Mazumitsu on Grim right now. Going to be using his hard breach gadgets to try and open up the front garage side right now. As KTT is going to be droning out the back trench side as Thermite. So it looks like our two controller champs are looking to open up as many of these walls as they possibly can. You can see that Mazumitsu used both of his hard breach gadgets to open up the front garage side. And KTT currently opening up this boiler wall into wine cellar. And the door is even barricaded for him here. So he has got all the positioning he needs right now to push on into sight. He's going to pre-fire, do about half of Alibi's HP here. He will take a few shots himself, but still has most of his HP. And Mazumitsu on a rampage inside of sight right now, able to take out the Alibi. But here comes Carp on the rotate. He's going to get one kill to KTT, but Mazumitsu prone inside a connector will take him out. It's all left to the Ella now inside of blue. Mazumitsu now with the Grim Gadget. Going to use that to find out exactly where Ella is. Ella Mine's going out now. That'll slow down Mazumitsu if he chooses to push in through blue. But instead, he's going to go for the Diffuser as he's got those bees out to watch his flank for him. Ella now stuck inside of blue because of the bees and KTT even pointing it out. That's going to be a free plant for Mazumitsu now as he's on seven kills looking for his eighth here as l is going to push up into wine cellar now 30 seconds left on the plant and mazumitsu will get grab the kill from the wine cellar door and our two controller champs right now are winning 3-0 against the emeralds it's honestly too easy all right our two controller champs now on defense here with match point they're going to be looking to close this game out against the emeralds and go against our three diamonds that we have lined up here we're locked going to be trying to push library right now and honestly both of the controller champs are on the first floor so the emeralds have pretty much full reign of the top floor here they could go play vertical or do really anything that they want to do and they've got the nomad as well as the gridlock to put up flanks but as i say that mazumitsu on his ninth kill gonna grab the kill onto nomad great shots by him ktt Front side right now, actually going to do a little bit of damage through the garage snowmobile wall here. Smoke grenades go out from the thermite, and the gridlock traps are going to go out on the main stairs here as Yur is going to be trying to push down through those stairs. Harp going to rotate up to the main stairs window on this thermite, and KTT actually rotated to play close on this breach. Honestly, I like this positioning here. Azimitsu playing that mirror window as well, and it looks like we could be trying to see these emerald players play vertical and finally we're going to see one of the emeralds grab a kill here ktt goes down that wall being opened ktt was simply not ready for it but mazumitsu is our last remaining controller champion he's also leading his team right now with nine kills so it's very possible he could clutch this out we're going to see carp rotating front side with the thermite potentially going to be trying to open up the wine wall here Mazumitsu actually rotating up through the blue stairs on a flank. He's going to do a little bit of damage to both players here. Standing up, though, will take out Carp. Thermite goes down, and Yurt's going to decide to rush site, but he doesn't have the diffuser because 
Mazzy means you just killed Carp, who was holding it. So, Yurt's going to be able to take the bomb site, but it really doesn't matter. Mazzy meets you is third floor right now with only 45 seconds remaining, but he does have the diffuser. Yurt's now going to be trying to push up into blue stairs, but really, I'm not sure if it's going to matter. Only 35 seconds left. Mazzy meets you is so far off the site. I think there's no time left for Yurt. All right, Gerlach going to do one last drone. He sees where the diffuser is, and he's got the information on exactly where Mazumitsu is. But all Mazumitsu has to do is rotate back down to the site. Even if Yurt grabs the bomb, there's only eight seconds left. What's he going to be able to do with it? Mazumitsu on site now, trying to not get killed through these floor holes. Yurt is standing on top of them. That was his only opportunity to possibly win the round, but it won't happen. Mazumitsu will clutch it out. And ladies and gentlemen... Our two controller champs somehow win 4-0 against the Emeralds. We're moving on to the Diamonds. All right, here we go. We have KTT and Mazumitu, our two controller champs, up against our three PC Diamonds here on Clubhouse. We'll see if the Diamonds are going to be enough to finish off our two champs here. So far, though, they have been completely unstoppable. And, well, KTT is going to continue that trend. It looks like he's going to shoot, break through the window as he goes to castle it. Very unfortunate timing, potentially. And, well, mazumitsu has got another kill. What can I say? Dapper shakes his head. He can't believe it. Our two controller champs are just too good. Warden is inside of CCTV, trying to defend against this push in through Khan, perhaps. But there's actually going to be a castle on that door. So Mazumitsu is going to rotate over to Laji. And fortunately for him, the three diamonds did not get this Khan wall reinforced in time so a potential wall bang is going to come out here mazimitsu takes him out and wow that is unbelievable guys our two controller champs are just unstoppable what can we say all right ktt going to be trying to uh who is the spawn peaking that's going to be atk4 spawn peaking on the aruni he will actually down mazimitsu right now but ktt ktt not able to refrag or do any sort of damage onto the aruni so that is actually not a good start whatsoever for our two controller champs. But fortunately, Mazumitsu does not get fully finished off. And he'll be able to start droning out and possibly pushing in through Garage here. As we're going to see Aruni's all the way back on site now making these head holes. KTT is going to be below. He's going to be trying to help Mazumitsu push Garage. As he's potentially going to be trying to enter in from Stock slash Lounge right now. Mazumitsu using that Bravo drone to... Try and hack the garage cam. As we're going to see Warden holding inside of Rafters. And he'll take about half of his HP as Mazumitsu swings. And is going to shoot him down through that door. Freak on Thunderbird. Going to be trying to hold the main stairs here. Or the cash stairs on that beeper. As we actually do see KTT below. Warden is able to escape Rafters somehow though. And actually get fully healed from that Thunderbird. ATT though on cams definitely going to be trying to go for a nade here as we see the Aruni is just sitting on top of green box but looks like he's going to run away at the very last second and that grenade will be missed from KTT but Mazumitsu is able to actually walk in and take garage right now as Warden left to actually get those Thunderbirds. Speaking of Thunderbird, she's going to rotate into CC to try and retake Garage Rafters. But Mazumitsu is already at the top of Rafters. And he's going to do a lot of damage onto Freak, who's about 1 HP now. But KTT is going to be taken out by Aruni, who's currently flanking in through Swamp right now. Mazumitsu is going prone, trying to defend against this flank right now. Aruni holding her ground with the DMR. Mazumitsu is very low, so he's got to be careful about how he wants to push this. And... Aruni does have the diffuser with only 40 seconds left. mazumitsu has got to decide what he wants to do and do it quick as time is quickly running out. Here comes the swing. Mazumitsu barely missing these shots. Here comes the pre-fire, but Aruni is going to get the headshot and the diamonds win round number two. All right, Mazumitsu going to be trying to push out through strip right now, but he's going to be running into... The Chanka, who's just inside of the locker room here. So Mazumitsu is going to want to push through Strip. He's going to have to go through the Tachanka first. And it looks like the Chanka is going to be holding his ground here as he rotates into the larger Strip room. But 
Maz or uh, KTT is right there to take him out. Perfect teamwork from the two controller champs. And that Tachanka will go down no problem. Now it's going to be left to the Valkyrie and the Clash. And they're not even playing together, to be honest. So that could be a really big problem here. As if Clash has her shield out and the two controller champs get near her, it is almost going to be certain death for the Clash. Nades are coming out, though. And, well, what do you know? The Clash is still alone. And KTT is going to be trying to push up and take her out. The nades are going to miss, though. They will not do any sort of damage. And finally, Valkyrie has rotated over to try and help the Clash. KTT taking a little bit of damage from that electricity. While Mazumitsu is rotating over cash side. So it looks like KTT is really here just to distract. And it's working as both of the diamond players are over by cash side but it looks like valkyrie knows that something's up and he's going to be trying to pay attention over towards condor as mazimitsu walks in freak will grab the kill so now it's all up to ktt against the valk and the clash and ktt's already taken more than half of his hp from this electricity he's about to just die to the electricity valk is refusing to peek and honestly the diamonds are playing this fairly perfectly ktt just on about 20 or 30 hp and he is not happy with it whatsoever. He's just going to let him die. He's going to let himself die to the electricity, it looks like. ATT on about 1 HP now. He really can't afford to get zapped by this Clash anymore. He's trying to hide from the Clash and bait her to push in. But it, it's not going to work. Clash is just going to push on the other side. And Freak actually is fully rotated now to hold the Diffuser inside of Khan. ATT just desperately trying to get a kill onto the Clash, but he's also going to be trying to rotate back towards the main stairs. Valk still holding the Diffuser with only 20 seconds left. It's not looking good for KTT whatsoever. He's still trying to bait the Clash out here, but he's on 1 HP, and this electricity will surely do a lot of damage to him, and I don't know how long he's going to survive, but some for some reason, the Clash does a 360, and KTT's, KTT is able to get that knife kill, but unfortunately for him... Valk is going to be just inside of the showers, and the diamonds now are going to be up 2-1. to one. All right, Mazumitsu going to be just inside of CCTV right now, and we actually see Ace repelling outside of that window, so he's going to be very careful, and, well, what did I just say? Mazumitsu is going to take him out as, well, he's just too close to the window, and Mazumitsu will take advantage of that and take him out. KTT now on inside a bathroom. Gonna whiff a little bit of his shots, but will eventually take out the Sens, and he's gonna 180 to try to take out the Iana, who's now getting pressured by both of the controller champs, and Mazumitsu will be the one who takes him out. Great teamwork from the two controller champs there. Things are gonna be all tied up now, two to two. All right, we're gonna see Mazumitsu all the way inside of dirt right now, and this could be a problem for our attackers as they're all outside of this jacuzzi balcony. Doesn't look like they realized that Mazumitsu got detected outside. ATT going to be trying to hold down the site by himself right now. We'll see if he's able to do that. ATK going to be trying to possibly open up that Lodgy hatch. And we actually see Mazumitsu all the way garage right now. Possibly trying to get an angle onto the roof. But we also see Ace hopping inside of CCTV right now. Mazumitsu going to be doing his best to try and take him out, but we're also going to have Grim rotate in and try to assist the ace as well. But Grim is going to be on about half HP now as KTT is on the top of main stairs. He's going to shoot that drone out and well, he's got to be careful as we do have Osa just outside of Jacuzzi Balk on this Osa shield. He's going to be peeking through the drone hole, trying to see if he can find an angle onto Mazumitsu, who's inside of Jim. But Freak will be the one who finds the angle, and he finds both kills, actually, as KTT and Mazumitsu go down. Great round there from the Grim player, and that's going to be the Diamonds now leading on match point. All right, here we go. Looks like we're going to see a rush coming out from the Diamond players as... ATK is going to be throwing in these candelas, and Ace has now opened up the CCTV wall fully here. Here come the smoke grenades and the candelas, and it looks like ATK is going to be able to just plant, and Mazumitsu is actually going to go down to a claymore. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not looking good here. 
for the two controller champs ktt is the last remaining controller champ here to clutch it out against three pc diamonds can he do it if he can't the video is going to be over he gets the first kill he's going for the second but freak is going to take him out and ladies and gentlemen two controller champs all to three pc diamonds ggs thank you so much to mazumitsu and ktt for playing this video make sure you guys follow them with the socials linked down below make sure you guys like this video subscribe turn post notifications on so that you don't miss any other videos like this one and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video your water is that my water i've been drinking it <laughs> it's your water i guess dude that's really your water <laughs> i've been drinking the shit out of that water dude